Hey mama, welcome to week 21 of your pregnancy. This week, your baby's heartbeat is now loud enough to be heard through a simple stethoscope. But the beat can be difficult to distinguish from your own. Your baby's heart is 120 to 160 beats per minute. When you're about 21 weeks pregnant, your fetus is roughly the size of a banana and that's about 10 to 12 inches or 26.7 cm long from head to toe and weighs about 350 grams. Your baby is already starting to sleep and wake in subtle circles. Ultrasound shows that unborn babies may even settle in favorite sleeping position. At 21 weeks, your little one's fingers and toes are completely formed with little fingerprints and toe prints. If you were to have an ultrasound this week, you may even catch your baby sucking a thumb. By now, your baby's digestive system is developing and she is now able to swallow small amounts of amniotic fluid which can be absorbed by the intestine. Hey mama, if you are still here up till now, let us know with the like button. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's take the channel to 1k subscribers this year. Her little liver and spleen have been making blood cells. By now, the bone marrow can create blood cells too. Eventually, the liver and the spleen will stop producing these blood cells before birth. Let's talk about your body this week. So when you're 21 weeks pregnant, how many months along are you? At 21 weeks, you are almost 6 months pregnant. You may have had some heartburn and indigestion earlier in the first trimester. But as your uterus gets larger, it may start pushing up against your stomach. This can cause you to have heartburn even more frequently. Around this time, your pregnancy hormones may also cause hot flashes and extra weight can cause some aches and pains during coming weeks. Here are a few normal things you may be feeling this week. Back aches, especially in the lower back, are quite common during pregnancy. When you are 21 weeks pregnant, your growing belly is shifting from your center of gravity and pulling your lower back forward. Meanwhile, the hormone relaxin is loosening every joint and ligament in your body, which will allow your pelvis to expand when it's time for delivery. Heartburn Around this week, it's normal to experience heartburn. In addition to the uterus pushing against your stomach, pregnancy hormones relax the valves between your esophagus and stomach, causing some stomach acid to leak into the esophagus. Hot flashes. Your pregnancy hormones and your increased metabolism can leave you feeling hot and sweaty. Make sure you stay cool by wearing those clothes and drinking plenty of water. Switch on a fan or crank up the air conditioning and try to stay as comfortable as possible. Stretch mark. You may notice some reddish brown, pink or purple lines on your skin. Stretch marks form when your skin stretches over a short period of time and can appear along your belly, hips, thighs, buttocks and breasts. Your skin may start to feel itchy too. Applying moisturizer should help. Leg cramps. If you feel any cramp in your legs, don't worry. This is a common complaint from moms in the second trimester. You may notice that cramps tend to strike more at night. Try to stretch your calf muscles before bed. Drink plenty of water or have a warm bath or shower to help ease the discomfort or prevent cramping altogether. Tips for you this week. To help alleviate back pain, make this adjustment in your daily routine. Whenever you sit, use a footrest to elevate your feet slightly. If you need to stand for a long period of time, put one foot on a small stool to take some pressure off your lower back. Treat yourself to a warm bath for additional relief. If your back ache won't go away, give healthcare provider a call. The B vitamins include B1, B2, and B6 are key nutrients they supply energy to your baby's development. They also help promote good vision and help build the placenta along with other body tissues. If you're taking a prenatal supplement, you should be getting enough vitamin B already. 
but you can also get them from dietary sources like liver, pork, poultry, bananas, and beans. Choline is another nutrient you need more of when you're pregnant. Even though your body can produce choline naturally, when you're pregnant, you're not making enough for the two of you. This is easy to top up with a balanced diet, so try to add more chicken, beef, eggs, milk, and peanuts, of all which will help supplement your choline levels. As your uterus get bigger, you may notice your center of gravity shift and you may feel a little bit off balance. Take care of yourself by wearing flat shoes, being careful on the stairs and avoiding slippery surfaces to reduce the risk of falling. If you do fall and you're concerned, if you're bleeding or start experiencing contraction, contact your healthcare provider. The next couple of months are a good time to get some preparation out of the way, especially as your energy levels might dip during the third trimester. Things like getting your baby's nursery ready, writing a list of baby gear you'll need, and creating a baby's budget are all things you can start now if you haven't already. Even as your pregnancy progresses, doing some movement is important for your body and can help you with how you're feeling as well. Speak to your healthcare provider if you're not sure about what exercise is safe for you to do at this stage. Typically, Things like walking, prenatal yoga, and swimming can still be good options. And that has been Pregnancy with 21 Update. If you got any value from this video, subscribe to the channel and don't ever forget, you know how to mom.